Heather and Linda, I'm told this all started last night when rumors began circulating on social media. Now, despite reassurance from police, some parents felt school should have been canceled. How did you become aware of the potential threats? My daughter sent me screenshots from Snapchat. A child safety at school is on the top of every parent's mind when they send them off each morning. Those worries were amplified for Erica Turk when these threats circulated on social media Wednesday night. Every day I worry. Turk says just a couple hours after the school began investigating, parents were sent this letter informing them the threat wasn't credible and that school would continue as normal Thursday. We got that email in three hours. To me, three hours isn't enough to guarantee safety for my child. Turk says she kept her daughter home from school Thursday as a precaution. How serious does the department take these potential threats? We take them all very seriously. Um, that's why we respond the way we do. Deputy Chief Corey Smith with the New Haven Police Department says the rumors stemmed from something one student said to another. You know, you may think you're just joking around, but it is a big deal. He says police handle these threats very carefully. We're still a police department. We have calls to, to go to and things to take care of. It takes a lot of time and effort away from what we should be focusing on during that day. Despite the investigation, Turk's daughter's safety is still at the top of her mind, and she wishes things were handled differently. Pointing to this line in the letter sent to parents, which says safety is a priority for East Allen County Schools. If that was the case, my child should have been home today by their, their orders, not mine. A spokesperson for the school tells me that a student resource officer is always in the building. I'm also told by police that a few extra officers were out patrolling the area throughout the day. Live from New Haven, Alex Knoll, 21 Alive News.